final thing is just to sort of demonstrate how Ignite, although it sounds very difficult at first, 20 slides, what I say, is actually gives you a lot of creativity to do something very different. So Alton Thompson is our next speaker, Dr. Thompson, I would say. And he he's a conductor in many universities across Taiwan. He sort of teaches a lot. And he's actually going to deliver eight poems with pictures. This is the final Ignite presentation of the first half of events. So give a big hand to Alton. And did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green? And was the holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen? And did the countenance divine shine forth upon our clouded hills? And was Jerusalem builded here among these dark satanic mills? Bring me my bow of burning gold. Bring me my arrows of desire. Bring me my spear, O oh clouds unfold. Bring me my chariot of fire. I will not cease from mental fight nor shall my sword sleep in my hand till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. Of all the questions you might want to ask about angels, the only one you ever hear is how many can dance on the head of a pin? It is designed to make us think in millions, billions, to make us run out of numbers and collapse into infinity, but perhaps the answer is simply one. One female angel dancing alone in her stocking feet, a small jazz combo working in the background. She sways like a branch in the wind, her beautiful eyes closed, and the tall, thin bassist leans over to glance at his watch. Because she has been dancing forever. And now it is very late, even for musicians. My soul is dark. Oh, quickly string the harp I yet can book to hear, and let thy gentle fingers fling its melting murmurs over mine ear. If in this heart a hope be dear, that sound shall charm it forth again. If in these eyes there lurk a tear, twill flow and cease to burn my brain. But bid the strain be wild and deep, nor let the notes of joy be first. I tell thee, minstrel, I must weep, or else this heavy heart will burst. For it hath been by sorrow nursed, and ached in sleepless silence long. And now tis doomed to know the worst, and break at once, or yield to song. How can I, that girl standing there, my attention fix on Roman or Russian or on Spanish politics? Yet here's a traveled man who knows what he talks about, and there's a politician who has both read and thought, and maybe what they say is true of war and war's alarms, but oh, that I were young again and held her in my arms. Doctor, you say there are no halos around the streetlights in Paris, and what I see is an aberration caused by old age and affliction. I tell you, it has taken me all my life to arrive at the vision of gas lamps as angels, to soften and blur and finally banish the edges you regret I don't see, to learn the line I call the horizon does not exist, and sky and water so long apart are the same state of being. Doctor. If only you could see how heaven pulls earth into its arms and how infinitely the heart responds to claim the world. Blue vapor without end. You are telling a story. How fire took water to wife. It's always like this, you say. Opposites attract. They want to enter each other, be one. So he burns her as hard as he can, and she tries to drown him. It's called love at first and doesn't hurt, but now she weeps and says he is killing her. He shouts that he cannot breathe under water. Make up your own ending, you tell the children, and they will. They will. If 
if you ask who is the island's father, I will tell you the sky is Taiwan's father. If you ask who is the island's mother, I will tell you the ocean is Taiwan's mother. If you ask what is the island's past, I will tell you blood and tears have dropped on Taiwan's feet. If you ask what is the island's present, I will tell you betrayal and power is eroding Taiwan's spirit. If you ask what is the island's future, I will say step out. The road is open before you. Wine goes in at the mouth, and love comes in at the eye. This is all we shall know for truth before we grow old and die. I lift the glass to my mouth, I look at you, and I sigh. Thank you. <laughs>